What's up guys, GlockGuy226 here, and today I have not one, but two Glock Gen 3 RTF2. These are the Vickers Tactical Models. This is the 19, and this is the 17. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these guns. Um, they're both brand new and unfired. Um, that is clear. Actually, neither of them have had a round chambered. Um, go over a few of the things that makes these guns unique. Um, they are the RTF2 frame. You may be familiar with the RTF2s. These do not have the gills. Um, Vickers and, uh, well, Tango Down, Vickers, Wilson Combat, and Glock all came together to make these. There's 2,500 of each model out. So 2,500 of the Glock 17 and 2,500 of the Glock 19 that came out. So that's not very many guns. Um, that's, what, 50 guns per state if they all stay in the U.S. So it's not very many guns. So to get a Glock 17 and a 19 like this, I was pretty excited. Now a few of the things that makes this gun different than any other Glock. Um, first off, we'll start with the Wilson Combat sights. And as you can see, they're a U-notch. And these are not the Tritium Night sights. I wish they would have been. But these just have the gold bead up front, if you can see there. Which are still really nice sights. Like I said, I wish they were night sights with the Tritium insert, but they're not. Um... That's something I can live with. Uh, it's not the best thing in the world, but I am I am happy to have it. Now, another thing is the grip texture. And if you've ever held an RTF-2, the grip texture is great. And, and I'm, honestly, if Glock were to put this on all of their guns, I would see no need to even have to stipple them. Now, there's a few uh, forums I've read where guys are complaining that they took a class with this, or they went shooting, and it was too rough for them and tore their hands up. Well... I'd say they need to get out and do a little more work with their hands. I mean, this, this is great. If you, can't, if you can't shoot this comfortably, there's a problem. Um, uh, the next thing, which Tango Down and Vicar ships, a lot of this stuff, it ships with the gun, but is not assembled. As far as the sights come on it, but as far as the extended slide release, mag release, the Vickers base plates, and then this is the Glock tool, which I'll show you. Um... But yeah, the next thing is that extended slide release. Now some guys swear by these and love them. Some guys don't don't prefer them. I like them. I don't have them on any of my other Glocks. I just it's it hasn't been a big issue for me. Um, I went ahead and put them on these guns because that's what it came with. I wanted them to be completely how they should have been from the factory. Now the next thing is the extended mag release, and it is technically extended. Um, if you know anything about the Gen 3 mag releases, they suck. Um, just flat out suck. A lot of people do the mag scallop if they uh, go ahead and have the frame customized, which is very beneficial. But this extended mag release here is just enough. It's not big enough. Say like a three gun, you know, competition pistol. You have that big old mag release, which is easy to pop out, which is great. But this is just big enough where you're not going to accidentally hit it. But it is out there. Now, another thing are these Vickers tactical uh, base plates. And I really like them. Pretty neat, um, you know, say you have up to eight mags, you can put one dot for your number one mag, two dot, and so on. So it's kind of neat that you can number them, but the best feature to me with them, if you guys can see there, has a little bit of a finger groove on each side. Um, I really like that. When the gun's inserted, you can see the finger groove hanging out there on each side. You can really rip that mag out of there. You just get an awesome purchase on it. With your other Glock mags, you might have to hit the button, wait for your mag to fall out, which that's great. You know, if you're running a tactical drill, you could hit that mag release, it falls out. Don't even have to touch it. But this is nice to be able to grab it, clear it, um, especially if you have a malfunction or something, which the slide release is also nice. If you have a malfunction, pull that back, get that extra bite on that slide release. But yeah, the base plates are very cool. Um, pretty beneficial I'd say. Most of these upgrades are beneficial upgrades. They're not really, you know, they're for real world applications so they do all serve a pretty good purpose but if you don't like one of them you don't have to have them on there. Now another thing that is really cool, if I can get it out, kind of tough to get out, is the uh, butt plug as they like to call them, the grip plug. Um, it's also Vickers Tactical Tango Down but it's a Glock tool so that is really cool. Just plugs right in your grip there. Like I said, it's kind of a pain to get out. They have that little button that makes it snap into place, which is a good thing. It's hard to get out, so it's not going to fall out on you, but it kind of can be a bear to get out of there. But also, another cool uh, thing about the Vickers Tactical Glock, um, 
you know, I really like it so far. Like I said, I haven't shot it. I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot these two. I kind of just wanted to get them as a set, and I had a really hard time. I got the Glock 19 first, and uh, I thought it was neat, you know, cool, and then I found out, well, they only made 2,500 of these, and I seen a, bu a bunch of other big gun channels doing videos on them, saying, man, we had a hard time getting this, da-da-da. A few of them had to even contact Larry Vickers personally to get one, and I had an opportunity to get uh, the 17 after I got the 19, so I went ahead and did that, and I'm pretty happy I did. If I do ever sell these, it will be as a set and, you know, pretty much collector's purpose. Now, this is the 19, and the options on it don't differ from the 17. It also has the RTF2 frame with that awesome texture on it. And seriously, guys, if you have a chance to ever see an RTF2 or handle one at a gun store, do it. That texture is really awesome. I really wish every other Glock came with it. But yeah, this comes with the Wilson Combat U-notch sights with that uh, gold bead there on the front sight, kind of like a shotgun or something, but they are nice sights. Um, the front sight sits fairly high, not quite as high as a suppressor sight, but sits fairly high to fit that U-notch. And it also has your extended slide release. Oops, sorry guys. If we can get a picture of it here. But yeah, I kind of I kind of like the extended slide release. I, I may go ahead and get one of those for my carry gun and maybe my Glock 19. But um, you know, extended your uh, mag base plates there. This also has the Glock tool as the grip plug. This one's hard to get out of here. I had a pain in the butt getting this one out, and then I got my Glock 17, and that one popped out fairly easy. But yeah, the little Glock tool as your grip plug, which Pretty cool addition. I might go ahead and get one of those. I mean, you know, if, if you have to work on your Glock, all you need is a punch. And for the most part, I mean, all you need is a punch to completely break it down, except for some stuff on the slide. But yeah, that little addition there, I think you can get those for 10, 15 bucks. So that's not a bad addition. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd show you guys those two Glocks and talk about them a little bit. I do have some other stuff coming up. I have some upgrades I'm doing to my Glock 43 this week. Probably, I ordered some parts tonight, so they'll probably be in mid next week. So I will be posting a video on those. And please go check me out on Instagram at GlockGuy226. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good night, guys.